Ever wondered what the most frustrating cities to live in America are? Well, buckle up because today we're diving deep into the top 10 cities that will make you want to pack your bags and run for the hills. Now, you might be thinking, what makes a city frustrating? Good question. We've based our list on a combination of economic factors, census data, and recent surveys. We've looked at everything from job markets to traffic congestion, from tourist struggles to the general state of urban decay, and yes, we've even factored in the weather. I mean, who wouldn't get frustrated with flooded streets or a tornado alley in their backyard? And just to keep things lighthearted, we've thrown in a few jokes to keep you entertained. After all, we're not here to depress you, just to inform and amuse. So without further ado, let's jump right into our countdown and start with number 10. Kicking off our list at number 10 is Oklahoma City, and boy does it have a knack for making things monotonous. Now don't get us wrong, there's a certain charm to the city, but it's akin to the charm of watching paint dry. When it comes to activities, Oklahoma City has the variety of a toddler's diet, repetitive and bland. You might find yourself asking, where are the mountains, the valleys, the anything? But fear not, dear listener, because Oklahoma City is surrounded by the most thrilling of landscapes, flatness. Yes, endless, unchanging flatness as far as the eye can see. It's like a Bob Ross painting without any happy little trees. And let's not forget about the skyline. It's not that it's bad, it's just that it's as inspiring as a bowl of oatmeal. But hey, if you're a fan of boredom, Oklahoma City might just be your paradise. Coming in at number 9 we have Hoboken, New Jersey, the city that's literally sinking in its problems. Now, when I say sinking, I'm not kidding around. Hoboken's so flood-prone, its residents might as well trade in their cars for boats. But hey, who needs a dry commute when you can have an impromptu swimming lesson, right? And if you thought that was all, think again. Hoboken is also notorious for its high cost of living. We're talking selling your kidneys to make rent, kind of expensive, but don't worry because you'll always have the constant construction to entertain you. Yes, this city is a paradise for roadwork enthusiasts. So, if you're someone who enjoys a daily dose of waterlogged roads, burning holes in your pocket, and the sweet symphony of jackhammers, Hoboken is the place for you. But hey, if you're into water sports, Hoboken might just be your Venice. At number 8, we've got Myrtle Beach, where the job market and tourist industry seem to be on a permanent vacation. Now, Myrtle Beach has a lot to offer, don't get me wrong. The sun, the sand, the surf, it's a vacationer's paradise. But if you live here year-round, the story is a bit different. The job market in Myrtle Beach is like a sandcastle at high tide, constantly eroding and never quite solid. It's heavily dependent on the seasonal tourist industry. So when the tourists pack up their beach towels and head home, the job opportunities dry up faster than a seagull's lunch. And speaking of tourists, they're a double-edged sword. Sure, they bring in money, but they also bring traffic, noise, and a lot of lost flip-flops. But hey, if you're a sun-loving, job-hating, seagull-feeding kind of person, then this might be the place for you. But if you love the beach and hate working, Myrtle Beach might be your dream city. Number 7 on our list is Miami Beach, where you'll spend more time in traffic than on the actual beach. Now don't get me wrong, Miami Beach is a beautiful city filled with sun, sand, and a vibrant nightlife. But let's talk about the traffic, oh the traffic. Imagine being stuck in a never-ending loop of red lights and honking horns, while the beach is just a stone's throw away. It's like a cruel joke, isn't it? And if that's not enough to make you rethink your relocation plans, let's not forget the high cost of living. It's not just the price of a beachfront property that will have you clutching your wallet, but also the cost of just about everything else. From groceries to gas, add in the constant threat of hurricanes and you've got a city that's as much a paradise as it is a paradox. But if you're a fan of traffic jams and tropical storms, Miami Beach might just be your kind of town. Hold on to your hats folks because we're stepping into the top 6 most frustrating cities to live in America. Let's start with number 6, the city of Detroit, Michigan. Now Detroit has made some strides in recent years but it's still got a long way to go. Between the urban blight, the struggling school system, and the economy that's still trying to bounce back from a major bankruptcy, Detroit can be a tough place to call home. But hey, at least they've got some killer coney dogs. Moving on to number 5, we're heading west to Fresno, California. If you're a fan of unbearable heat, air pollution, and a high crime rate, then Fresno is the city for you. It's like a sauna with a side of smog and danger. But don't worry, they also have a lot of, um, raisins. So there's that, we're sticking with California for number 4, with Bakersfield. Now Bakersfield might be known for its country music scene but it's also notorious for its poor air quality and high unemployment rate. 
It's like living in a country song where the dog ran away, the truck broke down, and you can't see the stars at night because of the smog. Yeehaw! Number 3 takes us to the city of Stockton, yes we're still in California. Stockton, where unemployment and crime rates are higher than the state average, and the city filed for bankruptcy back in 2012. On the bright side, they do have a, um, lovely, waterfront? Yeah, let's go with that. For our number 2 spot, we're heading to the east coast to the city of Patterson, New Jersey. Now Patterson might be known as the Silk City, for its role in the silk production in the 19th century. But nowadays it's more likely to be known for its high poverty rate and crime issues. But hey, at least they have a waterfall. That's something, right? And now, ladies and gentlemen, we've arrived at our number one spot, the city that takes the cake, the cherry, and the entire bakery for being the most frustrating city to live in America is, drumroll please, San Bernardino, California. Between the high crime rate, the struggling economy, and the fact that it's been named one of the poorest cities in the nation, San Bernardino is a city that's certainly seen better days, but let's not forget their beautiful mountain scenery. That's gotta count for something, right? Well there you have it folks, the top 10 most frustrating cities to live in America. Remember it's all in good fun and every city has its own unique charm. Thanks for joining us on this aggravating adventure.